UFC wasn't allowed on pay-per-view. As a grown adult, you couldn't make the decision to buy this on pay-per-view. Porn was on pay-per-view. UFC was not. So that was the, the uphill battle we had. The Ultimate Fighter was our Trojan horse because we knew we had to get on television, but the networks were terrified of this product. So we put together a reality show. You're watching Ultimate Fighting, but it's in a reality show format, which doesn't make it feel as hardcore. So I earned the shot in the Ultimate Fighter show, putting me one step closer to my dream of being a UFC fighter. My name's Mike the Count Bisping. I've flown halfway across the world for this. I, I feel I can, I've got what it takes to make a real living out of this, you know, a real career. I love fighters that are confident. I love fighters that want to be world champions. I love fighters that believe they're the best and want to prove it to everybody. And, and that's why Mike Bisping and I hit it off so well. So obviously at the end of The Ultimate Fighter, um, the, the prize is a contract in the UFC. At that time, all I was thinking about was if he gets to the final, um, I'm booking a flight to Vegas, which is what we ended up doing. Who will be crowned the ultimate fighter and go on to receive a six-figure contract with the UFC? How is Haynes still standing? Oh, Haynes is in trouble. It's it. all over. Michael Bisping is the ultimate fighter. All that time as a kid when I was younger, you know, being a little dickhead, getting in scraps, it's all paying off now. It's worked, you know, this crazy plan that we had. A lot of people doubted us. I just remember sprinting up the stands to Rebecca. It brought a tear to my eye, it really did. 